your own energy headed into this one and, and making sure that you guys are able to manifest yourself, knowing what you're going to get with the Kyrie situation. Um, what kind of catalyst can that be, though, from the group, just that energy and juice on the second half of back-to-back? -back? Yeah, it would be great to, you know, to be able to have some uh, bonus energy with Kai's first game at home this year. Uh, obviously, uh, the guys have to lock in tonight. Got, got back at four in the morning and, you know, uh, yeah, you got to be professional tonight and find it some way. If we get a little added, uh, you know, energy from the crowd and from uh, Kyrie's first game at home, that'd be great. But we can't rely on that. We got to come with our uh, our mentality and, uh, and uh, our togetherness and play well. What goes to your mind? How encouraged are you knowing that you have some stability when it comes to a starting five and setting a rotation for the rest of the season? I'm very hesitant to, <laughs> to to pretend that that's 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 just going to be the way it is. But uh, it would be it would be great if we could have some continuity here and and make the most of these these remaining games so that we can put ourselves uh, further along and be more prepared and more. Uh, cohesion and and um, understanding of our style of play together. Um, you know, the further we get there, I think it's it's paramount for our success or opportunity to play well in the playoffs. Marcus wasn't on the injury report. Are you expecting him to play tonight? He's available tonight. And Seth was questionable, but now is available. Did he come out of last night okay with the ankle? Yeah, he's available as well. With I guess first I got two questions. One with, with Ben, obviously there's been some relief with, with his back. Is is there any more clarity on what the next steps are for him to be able to make a return or not even return, but to play for you guys? No, it's just still rehabilitating, strengthening. And with Seth being kind of questionable, consistently questionable, is, is that going to be an issue given that you guys will, he's replacing Joe, who was your chief shooter. And now if he's kind of questionable, that kind of leaves you in a bind in terms of shooters. Well, we definitely have to manage that there here. You know, we don't have the luxury to, to sit him all the time. Um, you know, if we, if we have the choice, we, 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 we really need him. So we'll see, we just got to do the best we can and manage his, uh, his health the rest of the way. And, and hopefully he can, you know, maintain a, a level of comfort playing through through some discomfort. He, you know, obviously he played really well, I thought, last night. And so, you know, he's a, it's not where it's debilitating. And if we can keep him out of that kind of category, I think we'll be okay. But does the game plan change at all in terms of the rest of the season for you? I mean, getting Kyrie back now, he was only going to be able to play in one game and now the remaining eight of them. Does that change... Your, your focus or your um, game plan at all for what, I mean, I know it's just to win games, but obviously having a caliber player like him come back and mesh as easily as, sure. as he's able to. Yeah, I, I don't know that it changes the game plan, but obviously uh, there's a few things at play here. One, he brings a, a level of talent and we're able to play, um, you know, in a different way with him on the floor because of his ability. Uh, I think also the cohesion and continuity of having him uh, play with his teammates more often allows us to to improve. Um, and then the last piece is that it, it, when he's not playing, you know, half the games or as you said, the majority of the remaining games, you know, it puts such a burden on the rest of the team. So having him back, I think, it allows us not to, you know, theoretically on paper because we we haven't had the luxury, but to not overburden everyone, to not, you know, have to play Seth 35 minutes a night with uh, with his ankle situation, and it goes down the line to other players. So I think that's really important as well. It's not just the talent that Kyrie has, the continuity that he he provides playing at home, but, you know, the amount of minutes and the amount of burden uh, and the roles that guys have to assume when he's not here. Steve, just looking at the big picture of the season, obviously you guys set out from the beginning with championship aspirations, and then you've gone through all these phases. No Kyrie, Kyrie only on the road. Now finally at the, at the end, Kyrie for, for all games, but still waiting on Ben Simmons, going into the postseason, possibly through the play-in and having you work your way through. The, like When you consider all of that and where you want to go, how would you describe the challenge of this, this last stretch run mm -hmm. and, and what comes after? I think we just have to be, be locked in, you know, to to the moment, you know, that there's a clarity there for us instead of being in a position where we're one, two, three in the East and where we were before Kevin got hurt. And, 
you know, making decisions about who to rest and how we approach the final games, our, our job is clear. We need the time on the court. We need to try to win games to secure our position, and we need to be prepared for the play -in. So we just go day to day, try to improve, try to play well, try to learn from our performances and try to gain some continuity and rhythm and understanding uh, with these remaining games. With Kyrie, I think there's been a lot of talk about how it's been pretty impressive that he's, you know, not playing for seven, eight days in a row and then comes back and does what he does. Is it almost going to be hard now, you know, when you have a routine for 65 games, whatever it is, to have to change it again? I mean, obviously his whole career has been doing one way, but it is now one almost whole season. It's been, is there any challenge to that? We'll see. You know, I mean, there is, in a sense, it's a different pattern and there's a different physical toll. Uh, playing all the games, uh, but he, he's been there before. So, you know, as, as he's managed himself playing, you know, sometimes a couple games, three games in a week, and then not playing the next week, um, you know, he I, I, he may just manage himself jumping back into regular cadence uh, seamlessly as well. So you just never know. There is an adaptation, but he might manage it with no problem or it might affect him a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be something that um, is, is, is wildly different for him. You know, I think the majority of his basketball uh, career has, has been playing all the games. So we're hoping that it's a seamless transition back to playing every night. And obviously it's only uh, eight games, I believe. Coach, last question from me. You guys played the Hornets not too long ago. What did you see in that game that allowed Kyrie to put up 50 and, and how is he able to break down the defense so easily? Well, it's uh, that, that you know a part of that is just clearly he has uh, incredible skill and talent, you know. And when he's on like like he was that night and the night in Orlando and um, you know other nights, you know, it's there's not a lot you can do. I mean, he's going to score the ball. He just gets to his spot. He's so clever. He's so athletic. He's so skilled, um, and he's such a shot maker that you know he's uh, he's capable of that all the time. Um, so I. I don't necessarily look back at that game and say, this is why you could look at, you know, almost any night. And, and if, uh, if, you know, if he's feeling it, you know, it's good luck uh, trying to contain him. Coach, uh, I remember last time you spoke about Ben, um, you said that he had regressed to where he wasn't doing individual work anymore. Is he doing individual work now? Or has he gotten to one-on-one -on -one or is he still? Yeah. Not yet. Great. Thanks guys.